Come here, Lolly. I have Lolly with me today. Um, hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. We had a little snafu a second ago. I was, I thought I was live on the Hungry Girl page, and guess what? I was live on my personal page, so like only my cousin and my three friends from Studio City were watching. But now I'm on the Hungry Girl page. I have Lolly. Come here, Lolly. Lolly. Oh, look at my dog. Last time she was here tasting things. Today she's not going to be tasting anything. I'm just here in my kitchen. Um, I wanted to catch up with you guys. Everything. Hey, Jamie. Nice to see you. You guys can tune in. We're going to have a new Hungry Girl podcast that goes up on Wednesday. Um, we have not recorded it yet. Very, very exciting. Um, another day home. This whole safer at home thing is really taking the nation by storm. I would say almost all of us now. I know officially it's only something like 25%. But we should all be staying at home. We're much safer at home. And... The one thing that I have noticed, which is like a constant throughout, is that people are really craving comfort foods and there's a lot of emotional eating going on. Um, hey, Diane. Hey, Aaron. And the truth is, comfort food and emotional eating, it's a thing. And I was reading about it today. I was um, learning, unfortunately, that comfort food really does make us feel better. So it's a real thing. And I don't want to say unfortunately, because there are ways to eat comfort food that is actually healthy. So I have been doing that for years, many years. I started Hungry Girl in 2004. It's now way, a way longer time from there. We're in 2020, which is scary. And it's also a scary time. And we need things that make us feel good and comforted. Um, so I wanted to show you tonight some things that can help you if you're feeling like you need some kind of food that's going to make you feel better. So I have some of my favorite swaps here. These are things that you can get online or you can get them if you're going out to your local market. I don't know if you guys are going out anymore. Hey, Mary. Hi. But these are things that you could actually get at, you can just one click them and they're things that are going to help you feel Great, and I also have some trivia questions and some prizes, and I have Lauren is here on hand. Scream, Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Hi. Lauren's my Jersey niece. Jersey fries. Yeah, Jersey fries. Oh, those are like disco fries. I love them. Jersey, that's like fries with gravy and, oh. right? Jersey fries, Jamie would know, because Jamie's from, actually from Jersey. Um, anyway, so I wanted to start a little bit. I w I've been saying, if you follow me, you know that my answer to all of this craziness is that I stop eating at night probably around 5.30, and like that keeps me from going insane. Um, but when I am eating, I am eating more comfort foods. And I had said I was eating bread, and hey, jo hey Joe, hi, Joe, thank you. And when I eat more bread, I was talking about eating Dave's Killer Bread, which is ridiculously delicious. But also, like, I broke down and I bought this. This is Ezekiel bread. Everybody raves about this stuff. It's made without flour. Okay, there's no flour in this bread. It's sprouted grains. It has more fiber, five grams of protein per slice. You can get this online. You can get this at the store. It's great. It tastes good. It's not quite as, it's not, it doesn't have that like sweet, oh my gosh, you want to eat 10,000 of them, like that, that 10,000 slices like that Dave's bread, but it's great and it'll make you feel better if, about eating bread if you eat it. 80 calories a slice. It is dense, it's filling, and it's definitely better for you. So that is a good bread option. Okay, another thing that I've been reading about, chicken wings. Chicken wings are a thing. People are obsessing over chicken wings. Like, I can't even tell you how many people have reached out to me saying, I've eaten like 12 chicken wings. The thing about chicken wings, it is all about one ingredient. Can anyone guess what the ingredient is? What is the one ingredient that makes something taste like a chicken wing. No, yes, I know you can, Diane, I know you can buy chicken wings in the freezer section, <laughs> but that's not what we're saying here. <laughs> we are saying chicken wings, come on, what is it all about it? It's all about Frank's Red Hot. So when I want anything to taste like chicken wings, this is what I do. First of all, today I was like Susie Homemaker. I like cooked up a whole bunch of chicken breasts. I made salmon. I was just cooking up a storm because, right, Jamie, it's hot sauce. Right, Mike, chicken is important too. So Frank's Red Hot is what every, makes everything taste like a chicken wing. 
And by everything, I mean chicken that you put Frank's Red Hot on. So I take chicken breast, which is healthy, skinless, boneless. You can get it pre-cooked, you can cook it yourself, and then you chop it up and you mix it with a little bit of Frank's, and then you sprinkle on a little parm, little parm, and you eat that with some carrot sticks, maybe even a little light ranch dressing. You feel like you are eating total bar food. Am I lying? No, I'm not. Anyone out there who's tried it knows it's true. Frank's Red Hot, you need to get this. You can get it online now. You can get it at the supermarket, wherever you are. That is where Frank is. It's a little high in sodium. Chicken wings in the air fryer. Chicken, yeah, you can make chicken wings in the air fryer, but the thing is you're still gonna be eating chicken skin or you could just, you can make your chicken in the air fryer too. But the thing is like, I like to really lighten things up and get the chicken wing flavor by using the Franks. Now, another thing people are going nuts about, they want carby like potatoes, noodles, rice, vegetables. I love how you're all like talking to each other. It's so cute. I can see all your comments to each other. It's really cute. Um, one second. Hey, Lisa, I love hearing you every night. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just trying to read comments, which I never get to Frank's do. Is good on everything. Frank's is good on everything. So now getting back to like the carby things like the noodles, the pasta, the potatoes. First of all, veggie noodles. Now they're everywhere. Green Giant, I, I rave about Green Giant stuff all the time. They make the cauliflower rice. They make all kinds of options in the freezer section. They have the spiralized the noodles. They have the cauliflower and yoki. They do everything. So if you want a good carb swap and you really don't want to work at all, Green Giant in the freezer section, that is what you should go to. If you want to make some stuff yourself, you can. Another thing I absolutely love is Palmini. This is another really great item. It's, I show it to you because it comes in a pouch. And you can sometimes find that at the, uh, the local market, but sometimes you just order it on Amazon. What about Yucatan sauce? What about Yucatan sauce? I helped you lose 100 pounds, Danielle? Holy guacamole. I was going to say holy macaroni, but hey, we don't have to eat macaroni, do we? Okay. Now, once you have your comfort food carby swap right there, at your disposal. What do you put on it, right? I have to tell you, there is something that has saved my life. It is called Anthony's Cheddar Cheese Powder. Anthony's Cheddar Cheese Powder. This is a life-saving item. This is an all-natural item. It is cheese. It has uh, 70 calories for two tablespoons. You can mix it with a little bit of warm water. You can cook with it. It turns anything into that sort of cheesy, saucy, like you feel like, you know that cheap cheese sauce that everybody loves and, and hates to admit they love that you get at like the movie theater where you dip the little pretzel nuggets in or something like nacho cheese. This is a much better version of it and it's way healthier. Any comments coming? 75 pounds down, way to go. Someone said Frank's is so good you could put it on a flip flop. Frank, you could put Frank's on a flip flop. You could, I always say if you like deep fried anything, it tastes great, like even sneakers, but Frank's is so good you could put it on a flip-flop, but don't put it on a flip-flop because I don't, that just sounds dangerous. Anyway, this cheese, the best. If you have not tried it, this will change your life. Sometimes I just like throw a bag of steamed broccoli um, in the microwave, you know, one of the steamable bags, dip it in this cheese sauce that I have turned into a sauce from the powder, and I'm telling you, it's incredible. So please look for this on Amazon. Please get this, you will love it. Another thing I use that on is right rice. I know I talk about right rice all the time. This is just a, a great quarantine food because rice is very comforting. It's a total, wait, what did Jamie say? I'll If drive. I drive by, will you sprinkle Sprint. cheese powder in my mouth? <laughs> if you stay six feet away, I need a cheese powder shooter, but if you come to my house, I would sprinkle it in your mouth. So right rice, I put the cheese powder on the right rice. Right rice you can make, keep in your fridge. This stays in your pantry for months. It's great. It's rice that's made of veggies. It totally has the texture of regular rice. I love cauliflower rice. Again, frozen green giant ca cauliflower rice, or I make my own. But sometimes I mix it with this, and that will give you real rice texture, like full-on rice texture that doesn't feel like veggies. So that's another very comforting thing. Is this helping you at all? Am I helping you at all? Are you feeling better right now? Is this a good thing? Do you want to see Lolly? Is that going to make you feel better? Come here, Lolly. Come here, because I want to show my... Here, I'm going to pretend this is a snack. Do you want this? <gasps> Ooh, Lolly. Ooh, come here. Come here. Do you want this? Okay, she's really not listening. 
The next thing I wanted to say is that there are gender differences between men and women. Men and women crave different things, okay? Oh, wait, she's teasing us. She's on her way. There she is. Come on, Molly. Come here. You want this? No, she's not there. All right, so women tend to want sweets and chocolate. That, like anything, and by the way, there's a theory about this. I want to move this. The theory is that when women think about comfort food, they don't want to think about cooking the comfort food. They want to think about eating the comfort food. So they think desserty items are quicker and easier. And things like ice cream or cake or cupcakes or chocolate, that's like fast satisfaction. How many carbs in the cheese powder? Can you tell me how many carbs are in that? We're gonna, we're gonna get your answer, Heather. How many carbs? Uh, four. Four carbs in the cheese powder, okay. There it is, for two, for two tablespoons. tablespoons. Anyway, so my fix when it comes to, like, sure, I, I, you know, I love enlightened ice cream and I love all those low-calorie portion-controlled frozen treats, but I have to tell you, C's lollipops are a great fix if you want candy. What is Dana saying? Invite us all over to quarantine there and you can feed us. How could you all stay six feet away? I would love to do that. Anyway, C's Candies, this is a West Coast store, C's. They're closed, but I, I hope their online site is open. You can get these lollipops, and they're incredible. They have about 60 or 70 calories from what I understand, I think. Um, and I like the chocolate and vanilla flavors. The chocolate and vanilla flavors of these lollipops are to die for, and they last a very long time, especially the vanilla one, I have to say. Lolly's being camera side, but she's poking me, so I'm going to drag her here. Wait, come here. Michaela is down 80 pounds. Michaela, good job. Here, 80 pounds. There's Lolly. Everybody, if you like Lolly, send hearts. And if you want to know how and when I'm going live, you have to get click on that little bell for notifications, right? Everybody always tells me to mention that, but there's Lolly. Lolly the lollipop. All right, now I am moving on to the trivia portion of the night because I know you guys want prizes. So I actually wrote up some trivia questions for you. I took some time to research and write trivia. We're gonna go through the list of comments and if the people who get them right will be chosen at random. You don't wanna see what just happened. Lolly jumped up on the kitchen table. <laughs> that is inappropriate. Oh my gosh. I wish you could see what's happening. Okay, I'm going to show you. Please don't judge me. Can you see Lolly? Can you see Lolly? Mm hmm. Anyway, um, she's watching she's, She just is staring at me. So I'm going to do these questions. We're going to look for the people who answer correctly. We're going to choose winners at random. We are going to send things out like Hungry Girl mugs if you get it right. And uh, Jamie is sending helpful information. Thank you. Hi, Doreen. All right. So again, I might not single you out or call you out if you get these questions right now. I may or may not, but then we're going to pick the winners at random. You're going to win things like Hungry Girl mugs, magazines, things like that. Are you ready? First question. Are you ready for the first question? Salt contains which two types of atoms? There are two types of atoms in salt. What are they? I'm going to give you a hint because you guys look dumbfounded. You look confused by this question, even though it's not so difficult. One of the atoms is sodium. What's the other? What's the other? <laughs> Answer it. Answer it. Come on. In the meantime, while you're thinking, right, but Melanie, what's the other one? Wait, it's not just, it's got something else. It's the other atom. I think I hear a stranger in my house. I'm sending them away six feet. All right, the second one is, you're right, someone answered it. It's chlorine, sodium and chlorine. Lolly, are you proud? Are you proud, Lolly? Are you proud of them? Are you proud? All right, Lolly's very happy. Good job. Next question, are you ready for the next question? This is going to be a lot easier. Which cocktail is traditionally served in a copper mug? Which cocktail, it's very popular now, is traditionally served in a copper mug? I think you know this. No, Dana, it's not niacin. We are over that. We're over that. We're talking about cocktails now. Now everybody's answering. Okay. Okay, okay. What is happening? All right. If you know the answer, spit it out because it's a good one. 
Everybody wants one right now, or unless you're drinking quarantinis. Well, everyone's still answering the first question. <laughs> We're going to wait for that, that right answer before I announce it, because I have not there seen... You, you see one person that yes, knew? Kim. Kim, you definitely won. Kim, you, you won. Because you're the only one that knew that a Moscow mule is served in a copper mug. Okay, I'm going to ask another question now. This one, I, I, it's going to be difficult. You're, you're going to be surprised when you get the answer. Thank, good job, Robin. What year did Starbucks start? What year did Starbucks start? Does anybody know? 84. Wait, what? <laughs> it was a strange voice on a nearby cell phone with the wrong answer that just blurted it out. <laughs> that was really funny. It is not 1984. What year did Starbucks start? <laughs> That's a tricky one. Boy, it's hot in my house. <laughs> what year did Starbucks start? Do you know? I'm still saying Moscow Mule. Yes, it is a Moscow Mule. Yeah, you, Robin, you were second, but you're going to get a prize anyway. Robin. No, Robin Orgel. Hey. Hi, Robin. Dan says hi. He's hiding. Uh, Andrew, you said 2004. That's a good guess. A good guess. Nobody really knows. Um, the answer, believe it or not, about Starbucks is 1971. 1971. Melanie, I think you got it. I believe you got it before, uh, before I blurted that out. So it was 1971. By the way, if you want to know what the most popular drink at Starbucks is, it is a vanilla latte. Most popular drink. I love a latte, but to be honest, I always do something that will save me a ton of calories. I get a skinny, non-fat latte. I used to do the sugar-free vanilla. I don't really do that anymore, so I just get a short, which is the tiny size that's not even on the menu, skinny vanilla latte, no sweetener at all. It has about 60 calories, and I love it. I can't believe people are still talking about salt right now. Get over it. Get over it, people. <laughs> okay, uh, we are going to go back and look in the comments, and we're going to find out who's answering these. We're going to figure it out, and you're all going to be happy. Yes. Doreen, we're seeing your answers. I just, I just saw you now. All right, next question. We are off of Starbucks, and we have moved on to watermelon. Are you ready for a watermelon question? What percentage of watermelon is actually water? What percentage of watermelon is actually water? Water is mostly uh, the, the number one ingredient in watermelon. I mean, it's like, what am I trying to say here? Watermelon is mostly water. How much water is actually in it? Do you know? Okay. These guys are all fighting about who answered the I questions <laughs> first. Listen, people, this is a time to hug each other and love each other virtually. Julie Kaufman, that's a very good answer, but um, Jennifer, you win. It is 92%. And Joe Schuster, watermelon, did not start in 1971, <laughs> although that's cute. All right, I think I'm going to do one more question because I'm sure you guys want to watch American Idol as I do. And if anyone is out there watching American Idol, please, no spoilers, because I am on the West Coast and I am full-on obsessed with American Idol and I can't wait to watch it. Um, what is our final question? <sighs> well, this is kind of not a great one. Oh, no, this is a great one. I'm going to give you a great question now. More Americans... Call in sick one day every year. There is one day that is the clear winner as the number one sick day in America. Can anyone guess what that day is? While I fix my hair and style myself. <laughs> Come on. What's the, what's the answer? Do you know? Do you know what day? Lolly, do you know? This is, if you really think about it, if you think about it, you should be able to figure out what day. What is this? <laughs> what, Jamie? Does anybody know? What day oh, is the number one? First of all, Rachel, New Year's Day is a day nobody works really. Some people work, but most people don't work New Year's Day. So, no, that is not the day. But there is one day, and it's not their birthday. It's an actual day of the year. Yes, Andrea, you won. It's, it's, I, it's, I can't believe there's a billion people out here, and I've known you since I was five years old, and you're the first and only one that answered that correctly. It is the Monday after Super Bowl. Now Robin answered it correctly. Linda, uh, Mary, I bet a lot of people are Googling this. But it's the Monday 
after the Super Bowl, and it makes sense because everybody on a Sunday gets drunk in the afternoon, they pig out, because it's the day that people eat the most calories of the entire year. It's not Thanksgiving, it's actually Super Bowl Sunday. So everyone is full and hungover, and half of them are pissed off that their team lost. So guess what they do? They stay home from work. Not me. I've never missed a Super Bowl Monday. And not my staff, because they rock. Right? Right, Jamie? All right, I think this is gonna be wrapped up very soon. Do you guys enjoy these lives? Are you having fun? Do you want me to keep doing them? Should I keep up more helpful information? Do you want me to make a recipe tomorrow? Tell me what you wanna see. That's really important. I'm gonna give out prizes to people who now type in what they wanna see in future Facebook Lives because I wanna give you what you want. I don't want you to be bored. I want you to be happy. I want you to be engaged. I want you to feel good. I wanna make you smile. So I am here for you. I'm glad you guys are here for me. You're making me feel great. Thank you for that. And I love you all, but I'm gonna be going now. Gotta watch TV, gotta go to sleep. So I'll be back tomorrow with more helpful information and hopefully some more fun and smiles. But for now, I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time. Chew the right thing.